It's one of the biggest nights for fashion. Celebrities and politicians just starting to arrive at the Met Gala. The event benefiting the Costume Institute, which is getting ready to open something new. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson is live on the Upper East Side with an inside look <laughs> at the latest exhibit. Kimberly? Well, Shade, yes, yeah, some of the roughly 400 very carefully selected guests have already started to arrive. We do expect to soon see New York City Mayor Eric Adams, who is not shy about his love for fashion. In fact, tonight he said he will wear something that won't disappoint. Let me show you the carpet here. It is laid just right. It is red, white, and blue. Ladies and gentlemen, Anna Wintour is in the house. This gala is where the worlds of entertainment, fashion, sports, politics, Politics and finance collide. Yes, this first Monday in May has traditionally been set aside for this extravaganza where more is more. Welcome back to the Met, opening of the much anticipated part two of an exhibit that began in September. Titled In America, an anthology of fashion, curator Andrew Bolton explains the show focuses on untold stories of designers, particularly women of color. So stories of uh, mainly female des designers from the 19th and 20th centuries who you know, really aren't household names but had a big impact during their day and were immensely creative and talented. Anne Lowe, born in 1898, she designed Jackie O's wedding gown, some of the most exquisite dresses of the time, yet she got little or no credit. This vignette, a nod to Lowe created by Julie Dash, one of nine film directors who transformed these rooms using costumes from the Met's collection. They're unrecognizable. They're, they breathe new life into the rooms. This, the work of Tom Ford, his take on the Battle of Versailles in a fashion sense, when in 1973, five American and French designers faced off. First Lady Jill Biden here to kick things off. The history of American design is rich and deep. It is a story of innovation and ingenuity, of rebellion and renewal. And this evening, crowds are in place outside the iconic entrance for the gala, almost set. This year's dress code, gilded glamour and white tie. Maybe less hamburgers and or milkshakes on, on the red carpet. I think this is going to be a little bit more, yeah, a little, little, little bit more formality than previous years, I think. Oh, you never know what to expect on this red carpet. We are back here live again. Some of the guests starting to arrive. This will continue till about 8 o'clock, 8.30. And then, of course, the festivities will start inside. Remember, there will be plenty of glitz and glamour, sparkle and shine. This is a fundraiser for the Mets Costume Institute. In 2021, this ball raised more than $16.4 million. We have much more at 6 and coming up at 11, my colleague Sandy Kenyon out here. Stay tuned. For now, we're